<laughs> I know that I'm preaching it. Not respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What? What? I wow. 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 Even if that's supposed to be a joke. Wow. That's crazy. What? I want to get another run! Yeah. That's my reaction to how bad. So, two things before the video kicks off. One, uh, there's a thin line between being funny and stupid. And two, maturity. Not everyone who is an adult is mature, and we all know this. But at the same time, when you, when you, when you claim to be some somebody that that is supposedly a leader of a particular group, or like you know, you have high influence over a lot of people. I think you should exercise some wisdom and ways in which you deal with a particular situation, right? And not everything you just go at blindly and emotionally and um you know make yourself look really stupid you know because by you doing that and you being the head of an organization or you know the the leader of a, a group or as i've said somebody who has high influence over a lot of people you, you only make yourself look stupid and then you make all your underlings or the people that follow you feel bad you know, because they, they sort of represent you and they, they look up to you for inspiration and, you know, for, for meaningful words, nah, right? So when you do stuff like, you, when you do dumb stuff, as I've said, you make them look, you know, by, and feel a type of way at the same time. Nah. So with that out of the way, my name is Romario Patrice and for today we're going to be reacting to this whole theatrics that's been going on with, um, uh, Fresh and Fit, um, and Abba and Preet. So yeah, let me get straight into it now. I didn't realize that when Fresh and Fit put out that live stream and said they were going to nuke our channel, they just ended up nuking their own. I don't know why Myron did this, but he decided to go on Sneeko's live stream on Rumble. Let's see if, let's see if Pearl so You have to wear that too. Yeah, of course. How am I going to break this down? So one, um, I watch a lot of Abba and Preet's content and also I used to, well, still sort of watch a lot of, um, Fresh on fits, fresh on fits content, and to be honest, I don't really have a particular side in. Um, well, before I never really had a particular side with who I think is better than who, and you know the competition and whatnot. I just um, you know, viewed for entertainment, now, right? And you know, there are a lot of things that Abba and Preach might say that I might not that I might not agree with, and vice versa with Fresh on Fit, but. <sighs> One thing has been prevalent over, you know, a, a period of time with fresh and fit, right? And that is the lack of maturity. As I mentioned before, when you're when you're a leader of a particular group and organization and whatnot, you need to represent that that you need to represent your people to the fullest that you could possibly do. Right? And you know, when you you can't be doing dumb shit like this, right? Especially in, in today's society where, you know, I, I've actually seen a piece of this video before where he had mentioned, where Marin had mentioned that, you know, to, in today's society, everybody's so sensitive. And it, it is sort of true that a lot of us are, as human beings are really sensitive. But at the same time, we're growing as a species. So a lot of things that we could have said and like do back then that might, like, you know, that might have been nothing. We, we learned from those mistakes, right? So, whereas back in the 1600s where slavery was like a norm, like it was a cool thing to own a slave, right? No, you can't do that because we learned from that. You know, you can't treat people like that. You can't, you can't look down and, and demoralize anybody, you know, to make yourself feel better or you can't own another human being in other words now, right? And at the same time, you know, we need to learn from the past mistakes and evolve mentally from that now. You know, and try to get over this whole thing. <sighs> Come on, man. We could we could do better. If I'm not in my proper attire as a race. Bro. All right, can you move over a little bit? Okay, I'm moving over. You, fucking you see out of that, you fucking sandic. But it's okay. White supremacist sandic. Shut up. You're a Bro, you're the worst of the worst. You eat dogs and you kill people as a black guy. Wow. Wow, that's so distasteful and sad. In Asia, 
Yeah, true. <laughs> Yo, yeah, hold on, pause right you quick. Pause right. This nigga here is funny. <laughs> He's funny. This nigga. Yeah, I don't condone. This so I I understand from the perspective that Myron is trying just like his perspective. He's trying to come off as being funny and sarcastic in the way that he's doing this KKK, um, this KKK portrayal now. But at the same time, it it's dumb and stupid. And as I've mentioned before, we need to learn from previous mistakes and you know things that happened in the past. You know how serious and severe and and how detrimental, uh, like. You know, this clan was to a lot of African people, to a lot of people of color in the in the US, you know, back in the back in the days. And you know how much people suffered because as a result of that. You know, so for you now as a black man, you know, as a as a black man, as an African person, you know, to come now to to try to, you know, depict yourself as that group in order to make another black man feel bad or look bad it come on bro come on bro it that's crazy this n-word oh. shut up you albanian f <laughs> keep running the clip you train <laughs> no keep running the clip who's that, who's that weird that can't speak who's that he black as hell bate man yeah, let's keep going. Let's look at Hey, wait, let's put those for fun. Holy <laughs> shit, who's this gay nigga with the red? What the fuck is going on? What entire nation fucking pussy shit is that? I know that preaching it. Bad respect to minorities. What the fuck? Stop! What? what? I wow. 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 Even if that's supposed to be a joke, wow. That's crazy. I want to get another run. Yeah. That's my reaction to all that. That's crazy. Air right now. Like, he punched there probably swinging around eating some bananas. Fucking stupid bitch. Preach is crying right now swinging from a monkey branch. Bro. You claim to be an alpha. You know, somebody that, that leads a pack. You know, somebody that is the head of a group and organization, you know, you're the leader of, of, of people, right? Of, of a group of people. By you depicting yourself like this and, and, you know, doing stuff like this, as I said many times before, you're just making your people look bad. And, you know, some of them might find it funny. Some might even like go along with it and think that's okay. But I, I know I know for a fact that there are going to be those who would find that very demoralizing and and you know know that you could do better as a leader, you know. Eating a banana, playing some Donkey Kong on the N64 because he's a stupid prick. He's a window licking stupid nigga. What? What? Fat ugly white. Hey. Oh, oh, that that spin. I like that. <laughs> I like that. This video that we, we got these niggas running like it's an employment line. What the f? What? Don't do that. I will find you, you fucking stinky looking piece of shit. You go fucking find right here. I don't like you already. I, I don't know how you guys did it, but you guys made a more embarrassing response than H3H3. Yeah, fuck. By like a long mile. Never ever compare that Myron dude to them fucking Jews, you motherfucker. Whoa, 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 whoa. Is this a character? This, this is, this is not I was representative. Born this way. And this is a, a massive indifference between the, the guys as Fresh and Fit and, you know, Abba and Preach. And that is the maturity now, right? You know, all of us, are, we, we're supposed to know what maturity is. Like, come on, you know, and it comes to the point where if I'm in a position like this and, and Abba says something about me that I, you know, he gives me constructive criticism, right? He criticizes something that I've said, something that I've done. Me as a leader, me as somebody who is aspiring to be better, who teaches men and people to be the better versions of themselves. I'm going to take that constructive criticism, give it a thought. And if I have to respond, my response would be something very subtle than, you know, Maybe in the sense of, okay, so I didn't agree with this way, say, Abba, but at the same time, you know, ting, 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 whatever is the case, and yeah. 
where you say they might make a little sense, but the majority I did not agree with and whatnot, and just leave it at that. But when you you go on this whole rampage and do all this theatrics and jumping up and down and you know you use a bunch of slurs and you talk a bunch of nonsense. <sighs> come on, come on, bro. I telling you, this is 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 utter rubbish and the the most foolishest and dumbest behavior I think somebody who is claiming to be alpha could ever do. Because if you're my leader, if I'm the leader, if you're the leader of a pack that I'm in, and, you know, I see you doing this sort of shit, bro, to be honest, I would leave. I telling you, I would leave. Because I, I don't want to be following somebody who carries on like this. I want to follow somebody who is mature mentally and, and you know, emotionally when it comes to dealing with situations and dealing with certain things. Huh? You know, I would see somebody shit you up, somebody diss you. Right? And you'd say, you take it and be like, I mean, every, to each his own, and you walk and you go your way. That's somebody I would, I would definitely respect and, uh, and appreciate by far more than somebody who jumps around and, and does this clung shit and, you know, all this theatrics. It's crazy. Where you, Jay? Keep going, Jay. Come on. No, I don't think they do. So, you damn right there, High Valley man. They say more lives than your monkey asses have. What the fuck you name? When y'all sitting there in that tight ass room, I'm sitting next to a fucking monkey with dreads for a decade. You need to do now, but see, ooh, you same shitty fucking camera for a damn decade, same shitty road mic right there that looks like a penis forever. You guys have not proved nothing, and you fucking niggas, millionaires, not invested back in the business, get called out by a fucking race. To be honest, I feel like a slight sort of um, empathy for Sneeko because. Um, even though this is his friend and he affiliates and associates himself with, you know, this guy a lot. I personally believe after, like, seeing a couple of his videos that deep down inside, somewhere inside, he doesn't indulge in this. He doesn't like indulging in those, this sort of behavior or he, he doesn't appreciate this now, right? So he might laugh and seem to be sort of entertained by this behavior, but... I don't think he is into this this shit at all. You know, I don't I don't think he's into this at all. K member out of Tennessee, you motherfuckers are losers. I'm roasting y'all right now. Continue on, Chang. Yes. Okay. Many oh, that nigga sound like he got a 39 IQ. Holy shit! I don't know how this guy preaches taken seriously. Like this nigga is fucking stupid. Say Albanian nigga for his said about. Shut the fuck up, you fucking. <laughs> You stupid nigga not showing the women that y'all are with not one time. Last time I checked that Myron nigga got like three or four girlfriends, okay? And they're friends with each other. Or they would hurt her. And so what? Like, so what? Right? Having three or four girlfriends doesn't mean shit. At the end of the day, okay, like who? Like, I know a lot of guys and a lot of people who, who have more women than that, you know? Talk about guys in position of power, guys who have wealth beyond yours. And, you know, they don't even, they don't even pro like promote that shit. They don't even talk about that as much as you, you're trying to front it as something, right? Why don't you see the sheiks in Dubai react like this, right? You claim to be alpha male. Why the sheiks in Dubai don't act like this? Why, why Andrew Tate don't act like this, right? come back to you know like western culture not with the whole five six women and thing but the 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 behavior why doesn't jay-z act like this why doesn't elon musk and and jeff bezo and these guys in position of power and wealth act and carry about themselves like this because they know better because they know what a leader is supposed to be they know what somebody of discipline and somebody who who is in a position of power and influence, they un know and understand how that person is supposed to carry about themselves and how that, su that person is supposed to represent themselves and their company, their people, and the people they are affiliated and, and associated with. But apparently you have no idea what that is and, and you know, how that's supposed, and how you're, you're supposed to be with that, right? And maybe the, the little million plus followers and subscribers that you have the you know the clout and as you said you know the 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 gills have your kind of 
you know, open your feelings now. But you need to come back down to it a little bit, bro, and, and chillax a bit, man. Come on. You know, humble yourself a bit. Our fan base. But if you're secure in who you are... Now your fan base is a bunch of low-IQ feminist f that can't take it when you get fit. What does he do? He actually gets fresh and, most importantly, fit. That fresh fit nigga helping everybody get in a goddamn shape. This guy is totally unhinged. What do you mean? So what do you go. mean I'm unhinged? You can't call me the N-word. Watch. You are in it. Okay, yeah, we do like 10 sets of burn, uh, cross burnings. And, and here's the thing. I'm going to continue to roast them. They're going to sit there and say, I'm okay, let's fucking go. 10 toes down. I will. That's not roasting, bro. That's not roasting. Roasting is when you say something and it, it sort of shit up, but it's funny at the same time. That's not funny. What you're doing is racist, right? And for those who think that black people can't be racist against black people, you're dumb. Because yes, racism doesn't have a particular gender. Racism doesn't have a particular race or ethnicity, right? Black people could be racist too. And that is racist and dumb. So that's not roasting, bro. Don't, don't say that. You're making yourself look even more dumb and, and stupid. Let's fucking go. Ten toes down. I will roast you motherfuckers until the end. You fucking homos got nothing else. Yeah, I think I caught a little. That was a little hardcore. This is a little hardcore even for me. I'm glad you didn't show up in a, in a white hood, Nick. That would have optics, you know? I was going to do the MAGA hat, but it just it wouldn't go as hard as the white hood. So. Nick, your followers are going to Myron now. You got competition. <laughs> That's true. Both of you guys. Both of you guys are, it's like, I'm being outdone. I thought I went pretty hard in November. You got, you and it's got like, Myron leading the dissident right now. Uh, yeah, it's a couple of it's an Albanian and a black guy. <laughs> gonna out. Yeah. Those are show how things have changed. Because I remember when Dave Chappelle did the Clayton Bisbee, Bigsby shit back in the day. It was. Oh, no, 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 son. You don't, don't do that. Don't do that. No, no. Mm -mm. Nope. Don't even go there and talk about Dave Chappelle's stand up comedy and his show that he did with the KKK and whatnot. No. Mm. That, that can't fly. You know, it, it isn't the same thing, son. It isn't the same thing. You're not a comedian. You're not known to be a comedian. And the way that, the energy that you give off when you talk about stuff like that. We, we read that energy very clearly. And the energy states that that is exactly how you feel. So you're not, you're not being funny. Don't try to disguise it as though like you're cracking a joke as though that this is funny. It, it's not funny. And we know. So, come on, though. Come on. Be, be real. Be real, G. Back in the day, it was fucking hilarious. But nowadays, you do that shit. They're like, oh, my God. Just go to the shop. Pussified. We become okay, this, this is actually, this is actually the clip I saw. Right. Yeah. But as I've said, we need to learn from previous mistakes. Right? We need to learn from previous stuff. You see... Our generation now is more pussified than the previous generation. And I would admit that there are a lot of things that, you know, there, there are some things that, you know, people are a bit too sensitive towards. But then again, not, that's not everything. That doesn't cover everything. And then there are some things that you must just leave alone and not dig up and not associate yourself with and not try to use as a disguise to, you know, for for your your racism remarks and dumb comments. Now, come on, G. You could do better. Oh God. Photo. I can conclude that he's also a monkey. Okay. <laughs> All right. Like, bro. I, I'm, like, I'm ready to end. But just like a couple minutes ago, he was using the whole Dave Chappelle. A couple seconds ago, he was using the whole Dave Chappelle thing as your. Yeah. Oh. Like they want to go here and say you're a Myron. Cool. Cool. The fucking Arab guy that's also black that literally, like, I hit so many different check marks for the KKK. Y'all want to call me? Cool, you fuck. Because, yes. Because, yes. An African person could be racist. Right? Yes. <laughs> it doesn't have a particular ethnicity or. or a particular person or type of people that it, anybody could be that way once you have a particular prejudice and dislike for somebody's ethnicity without a, a, a reason or any in any way whatsoever that is being you know so come on bro it, it... 
cool, you fucking. If you're wondering who the white dude in the top left is, that's a white supremacist. Nick Fuentes was a leader of a far right movement. And uh, Just Pearly thinks. Yeah, yeah. We know Just Pearly. Say, <laughs> just Pearly thinks orange does look good on you. I'm glad you took Britney's advice. I do think it's funny that the only time you decide to groom yourself is for a clan meeting. But hey, <laughs> if that's the kind of high value man you want to attract, go girlfriend. Now let's fucking do it. Hey guys, when we speak, everyone raise no, your hand. No, raise no, your no, hand. No, no, no. Raise your hand. No, 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 no. So we no. take turns. No, 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 Nick, no, 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 no. Wow. So, so this lady here just really thinks she she understands what that means. She understands what the gesture means. What the so she just you know as soon as they start doing that on camera, she pulls to the side because she doesn't want to be affiliated with this, right? And the sad reality is that she knows to herself that she doesn't want to affiliate herself with this sort of behavior and people but at the same time just for the attention and the clout maybe that's why she's on here and that's why she she might stay on to you know have certain conversations and talk about things now, right and this is this is also again poor leadership skills um because i've seen her on a couple of podcasts talk about women and talk about you know feminism and and you know leadership qualities on these things and if I'm a, a particular leader, and this has happened to me on many occasions where I've been in meetings and I know with high profile people, and sometimes they say things maybe not racist, but sometimes they may say things that is very offensive and some things that are, are totally unnecessary now, right? And I may need that particular opportunity, but at the same time, I may want that particular opportunity, but at the same time, I'm not going to... I'm not going to s sacrifice my 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 dignity and I wouldn't even say pride, but I wouldn't sacrifice my dignity and the person who I am for, you know, for clout and, you know, for, you know, to, to just be associated with a particular type of people for fame, now, right? I, I would never do that, right? And I, I think as somebody who, anybody who's aspiring to be a leader, these sort of behavior and characteristics should be cancelled like immediately and, and you shouldn't want to be part of this 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 environment and and this craziness man. No, like no, not you. No, no. Kidding, kidding. I can't fuck? do it. Yeah. What the fuck are you? I heard that some of y'all were raising the salute, so I decided to come back. Let's go. <laughs> there she <laughs> goes again. We're all rolls out. Oh come on! No, we're down. No, no, Dad's no. gone. No, 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 let's no. go. We're down let's for do whatever. It. Let's do it. <laughs> do, you, do you realize how dumb everyone has to be that when you're in a room full of people, that somehow just pearly things seems to be the smartest person? You see her sliding off screen like, what the fuck am I associating myself with? Fuck. <laughs> Y'all know how dumb you have to be to make Pearl sound smart. Yeah, I mean, hey, listen, if you want to throw away your YouTube channel in the dumbest way possible, cool. You just cost yourself and your staff millions of dollars over one of the dumbest things I've ever seen possible. And also, this is what makes me appreciate ABBA and respects ABBA. And, you know, it, it says calm demeanor. And, you know, when it comes to dealing with stuff like this, right? He doesn't hype up himself. He doesn't carry on and rant on real and, and you know, behave like a hooligan. But he stays calm, very collective, and he responds in a way that makes sense and, you know, constructively, right? So in that anybody could understand and, and, you know, you could say, well, okay, yes, maybe you agree, maybe you disagree and whatnot. But at least you'd understand the position that he's coming from, right? Because he, he always remains so calm, right? Uh, unlike the, the guys across the corridor, that's craziness, man. And also just notice, all of this rolls off Myra's tongue so easily. This is not the first time he's talked about this, about black people like this. It's not surprising to me. I'm honestly, when he started speaking about black women in the past, I'd always suspected he had some negative emotions or feelings about black people. What about the black dating app called Black? <laughs> oh, I, it's funny, I never used that one, bro, but oh, hey, man. man. 
<laughs> I mean, hey, bro, if you want to date a bunch of Shaniquas, go for it, man. LaQuisha. Uh, yeah. Like, uh, uh, me and Fresh aren't really down with the brown like nah, that. Man. We ain't Night Riders. Wow. Nah, so bro, I'm good. Uh, you know, sometimes if they're, you know, Redbone, but like in general, me and Fresh uh, don't dabble in the dark, if you know what I'm saying. Yep. Um, okay. And this just reinforced it. It was just like, I'm not even upset. I'm just like, oh, yeah. At first. It and nobody can never say that that was taken out of context because the way in which they keep reinforcing it as Abba says that they, they just keep saying it over and over in different ways so you could never say that okay this is just something a clip that has been taken out of context from a longer podcast you need to watch the whole podcast and no they they kept reinforcing it one after the other one after the other and in in ways in which that is very offensive and you know it's crazy bro at first it starts with making sh you know talk shit about black women specifically and constantly putting them down and you know, sometimes there's valid criticism about black culture that I'll entertain. But then the frequency and the vitriol that comes out when they speak about it, you start to feel like there's something else going on underneath facts, it all. Facts, and then when facts. it comes to people like mine, even... Hey, facts. Facts, facts, facts. Spitting facts, my G. And even though you can never point to it directly, because it's rare that it's this overt. So you can't really point it out, right? Everyone tells you, no, it's not there, it's not there. Even though you have a feeling, you know what I'm saying? You have no, but now you have it in full in front of you. This guy is considered the leader of the red pill. Huh. And you're seeing how this disseminates to a lot of his followers. That kind of hatred that he has for black people is instilled in a lot of the things that he actually preaches. You can't tell because it's not overt, but it's in the undertones if you understand Facts. what's really going Facts. on. That's why when I saw Facts. the previous one, Facts. even though a lot of people said, no, it's not. It's not racist. It's not. It's, not. it's like, do you really think that? I know it is. I know what he means when he says the warrior gene. I know what he means when he says monkey. I know why he's using it specifically for a black individual. Yeah. But plausible deniability gives everyone the ability to be like, no, that's not what he meant. That's not what he meant. But with this stream, you just see it. everything that I believed and pretty much knew is confirmed. Yeah. Um, so, yeah, I mean, if you want to shoot your credibility, if you want to destroy your movement, if you want to make the red pill look like a movement for losers uh, that hate women and also hate minorities and value whiteness for some reason, you know, it's in your dating preferences, it's in your language, it's in the way that you insult people, that's okay, have your movement. But when people discredit it and laugh at it, you're going to be one of the principal reasons why with your behavior. Instead of holding frame, instead of being stoic the way you present in the red pill and handling your stuff well, you get poked and prodded and all of a sudden you unleash this. The reason why this came out is because deep down inside, that's the shit that you feel. Facts. That's the stuff that you really believe. Facts. That's how you really feel about black people. Facts. And now everyone else knows. Um, so, you know, if you're proud of this, congratulations, brother. You played yourself. I don't think there's much to be said. I wouldn't be surprised if the YouTube channel gets deleted. As far as them talking about hanging us or monkeys this or whatever it is, cool. So that's it for the video itself but come back to what i was saying before this is one of the reasons why i appreciate abba by far more than the guys across the corridor right because he he displays this leadership quality he understands that his position with his position he has a lot of influence over younger people you know people who looks up to him right and people who and you know people who could bring change to society change to the world in a negative or positive light now so he tries to set that tone by leading and, and you know, setting a proper example, right? Unlike, you know, as I've said, the guys are across the corridor now. So this whole shit is crazy. Um, we didn't see the sort of end result of, of this and the repercussions that... Um, I know the video wasn't posted to YouTube, uh, but I know, again, YouTube doesn't condone these sort of behaviors and, you know, you know language and whatnot. Now. So... Uh, I wouldn't just see the whole um repercussion and you know stuff that follow follows up this um this whole um topic and everything. So uh try to um, keep you guys in the circle and keep you guys updated with everything and you know give my thoughts on it as um everything proceeds. So yeah, cheers.